Okay, here we are with Michael. Uh, so, first question. Why did you start meditating? What was it that made you think, I gotta try, the, I gotta try meditating? Right. Well, the genius of meditation, it, it isn't rooted in metaphysics, but is very deeply and intensely psychological. So what meditation teaches you to do is to just be aware and mindful of literally everything that happens in your life. And through that, you're able to see what is actually causing you all the pain and the things that you don't like. So in a way, you kind of distance yourself from it and you, you get this understanding that just obliterates pretty much everything. If you take it seriously enough, you can be sort of invincible in a way. So, but like, did you have problems that you thought meditation would help you with? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. What sort of problems? Well, you know, just like the typical everyday <clears throat> family stuff, of course, but um, the other things too, you know, you, you look around at the state of the world and uh, you don't really know how to help it. But then you... So you started meditation thinking you could help people with it? Or? A little bit, because you help yourself. You start understanding why people feel the way they do. And then through that you educate yourself, in a way, you, you know what I mean? So what was, the, what was your first experience of meditation like? Well... The beauty of YouTube <clears throat> is that you can really search anything and you can find it. And from, from then on, I got into a lot of uh, Tibetan Buddhism at first. <laughs> and so you, you, you started meditating via YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I, um, where I'm from, there's not a whole lot of resources that I can get into. There's not a whole lot of temples, not even meditation centers. So I had to start with YouTube. and. Uh, of course, naturally, I'd find you and all that, but uh, it was really from YouTube when I learned about it, and then I started really reading a lot of books and, and getting into it from there, and it just kind of exponentially got better. When you got here and started meditating, was this your first intensive uh, experience? Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> How was that? How were your first few days here? <laughs> the first few days were, uh, I don't want to say hell or awful, um, but it was definitely uh, a huge adjustment, you know, um, when you're you're so used to just doing stuff and thinking and all this all this stuff. Um, and it was really maybe a week and a half in to where you you finally get settled, you get the routine, and you you get, um, I guess, comfortable enough to where you can actually sit down and uh, and meditate for two hours at a time, take a break, and then keep doing that and keep doing that. And then it gets to the point to where you're just like, wow, I don't want to do anything else, but meditate. But it's very hard, and it's it's uh. It's it's really uh, intensive Did and intense. Did you ever think during the first few days, I, I don't know what I got myself into. Yeah, here. for sure. Yeah. I, maybe I should go home. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, you know, Was there any period of time where you really weren't sure if you were going to be able to make it? And maybe I, you know, I think I should go home better? Yeah, oh yeah. Packing up your stuff kind of thing? Oh, for sure, oh for sure. How yeah. do you deal with that? Well, um, one is you accept that you can't leave. <laughs> that there's no way you actually can. What does that mean? Uh, well, I mean, other than catch a bus and get all, go all the way back to the uh, the airport. I thought you yeah. meant maybe, like what I often tell people is, you can leave this place, but, but you take everything with you. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. But that's not, I mean, you, you just... Well, uh, that's that's the other, th no, that's the other thing too, right, is, right. is that, you know, you, you don't want to, um, you want to finish it, yeah. you know, you, you know, it's just like... You know there's work to be done. Exactly, and you know, there, there's something on the other side of this wall, you know, if I could just get over this wall, no matter how awful it is, because obviously it's working for a lot of people, you know, so, you know, it kind of, you, you kind of have to be really determined and really into it, um, otherwise the, uh, you just, it's just not going to work. If you continue to fight it and, you know, you just like despair like what am I doing I just wasted 600 bucks coming up here and stuff like that so one, one of the things that people that we claim about meditation is it helps you face and deal with your um, problems or, or your uh, mental issues mm -hmm. what, were there any issues that you found yourself confronting that maybe surprised you or, or, or that um, you didn't realize about yourself Oh yeah, <clears throat> a lot of lot of subtle little nuances. Just um, obviously, you know, with the with the the bigger problems. But what I really found so profound were just the small little 
little habits, little mental habits that you would, you would get. You wouldn't even, you're not even aware that you're doing it. And then you, you really feel so stupid after it that you, you realize that this is happening. And like, wow, I mean, it could just be, I mean, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, just, just small little, little tidbits of, of thought process that don't really do anything for you, but end up going into, you know, it's like, it's like a branches on a tree that just branch out into this more, this, this crap that you have to deal with. <clears throat> so, I mean, I think that's where I found the most, uh, the most improvement. You know, obviously, you know, the bigger problems help, but... And did it surprise you? Like, did you, did, did you, what you experienced in the meditation, was it sort of more or less what you expected coming in, or, or was there, were there elements that you didn't expect? Did it, did it shock you, or did it change you, did it change was it a life-changing experience <laughs> well um life-changing makes it sound huge and i mean it is it is life-changing but not not in the way i think uh at least to me that i i thought you know i came in here expecting all i didn't really know what to expect actually i just expected to come out of here and be a happier better person which i am but not at all in the ways i, I would think you know and uh it's very hard to describe until you actually do it you know and uh and it's really cool it really is. So tell us now about the cool part. What, what are some of the benefits that, first of all, what are some of the differences you see about yourself coming out of the course mm. as opposed to, uh, that, that weren't there or that were different going mm. into the course? Um, well, for starters, I've learned to really, um, whenever you, you feel any kind of strong emotion, um, you... I find, at least, I find myself kind of uh, distancing myself in a, in a way. Um, like if I'm feeling uh, upset about anything, I don't really take it too seriously. I don't really put too much, you know, effort into it. Because I mean, if you if you sink into it and you let it, you know, you let it consume you, pretty much. You know, it just it kind of just keeps going and keeps going into this big like cycle that you just can't get out of. I don't ignore it. I just acknowledge it, and I'm able to deal with it a lot better. You know, I, I don't let it consume me. Um, and then the other thing is too, I just, I find myself just not thinking about extraneous things, you know, no matter what they are, you know, it could be, I don't, I don't really plan ahead. Not, not that I don't plan ahead, but not like just not huge in the future. And, um, I don't find myself wishing for things or, or dreaming. But like this is different from before, before you mm -hmm. were, before you practiced, were you doing all that, doing all that. <laughs> yeah pretty much okay. pretty much um not not like a, a super like psych ward way but um i i guess the best way to say it is I, I wasn't fully always aware i wasn't always present i was always spending way too much time up here versus just kind of you know actually seeing things for how they are you know I was, I was making a lot of my problems in a way you know i mean that's that's where you'll really find the most improvement, I think. I think, and through that, you're you're much happier and much better, more <clears throat> more peaceful, more tranquil. I guess is a good good term. <laughs> what can you say in general now, if you were to give it people advice or encouragement? Let's start mm -hmm. with encouragement. Um, what what would you say are the general benefits? So you've mm -hmm. said some, but. But maybe going a little bit more general mm -hmm. for people, what would you say are the the, the best reasons that they sh would find to practice this? Right. To go through the the, the, the course that you've just gone through. Right. That's easy. That you you really really end up just um, understanding people for what they do and why why they are. You you get patience, you know, and you're able to deal with people no matter how much they may piss you off or do something that you don't think is right. You know, you just understand that they don't know, you know, and the benefits of that is that you can actually teach them now why why what they're doing is, is wrong and how that's wrong through just awareness. It's not a matter of opinion or, or anything like that. You just you show them the way and they teach themselves and you're able to do that now. Which is which is good, and I think I think it's healthy for people to be able to have patience and understanding for people, instead of just kind of, oh well, he's a bad person or uh, no, it's just you know you don't you don't understand them and they don't understand you, kind of thing. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Wish you all the best.